Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. Today we are doing a tour of a build I've been working on for the last few weeks, which is a large lot of New York City inspired brownstones that I converted into one townhouse and a ton of apartments. It is located up here in San Myshuno on this lot here. I have a random sim living here so we can take a look. It was just really highly requested to see a tour of all of the apartments since they were all separated into separate videos. So that's what we're gonna be doing here today uh, to show off all of the apartments and also play test them and make sure everything works before I upload it to the gallery. So if you are watching this now, just know that this is already available on the gallery. Uh, you can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. And you can also find that under the hashtag Griffey and that information will also be in the description down below as well. So loaded into the lot here, and this is what we are dealing with. We have these three townhouses here. I think they look really nice. I love how the exteriors came out. I really wanted them to blend into this area and make sense with all of the buildings in the background, but also be slightly different from one another with a variety of windows and have some like personality outside. We have some cars parked. We have our hopscotch. There's some dumpsters out here. And of course a place for the mail and there's even a little food truck over here as well. And then around the back, we have another food cart, basketball, and a laundromat. So I guess we'll actually check out the laundromat first. So just moving into tab mode, this is what the exterior is looking like. And if we just go this way and up the steps and right in the front door, this is our front desk for the laundromat. Has an old TV, a register, some like soap and stuff, as well as a cork board. And there's lots of like scuffs and stuff all over the walls. I was thinking this was a little bit of an older place and it's really hard to keep a laundromat clean. It's just, <laughs> you're always spilling things. So there's a couple of chairs to wait. We have some vending machines and magazines. There's a little, there's a little chalkboard on the wall, a table to fold laundry at, as well as some more soap and stuff and all of our machines here. And then we have a little bathroom through this room as well, through this door, and it looks like so. Pretty simple little place, but I was really happy with how this came out. I think it's a nice addition to this lot and your Sims can come here and do their laundry. Back out front, the building over on the left is our four-story townhouse. The one in the middle and the one on the right are both split into apartments of varying sizes. So I suppose we'll go with the townhouse first. So if you go right on in through the front door, we have this beautiful entryway here, lots of like gold and higher end materials. Moving into the living space, it's more of a formal sitting area with these gorgeous couches from the Decor to the Max kit. And I believe that is also where this lamp is from. I love it so much. We have some beautiful black curtains, lots of paintings on the wall and a record player. And then this is our dining space with a nice round table and some beautiful shelves. We have a globe bar over in the corner. And then through this archway, we enter into our kitchen. It's pretty simple in here. I'm thinking the sim that lives here is more of a pretty high up celebrity and they have a butler that lives here and does all of the cooking. So the kitchen's very simple and clean. Through this room here we have a little office space which I think came out really cute and then this last door on this floor is a bathroom once again pretty happy with how this one came out it matches the fixtures that the rest of the buildings have but in gold I guess we'll go downstairs first so when you get down these steps here, you are in the basement and it's basically like a nice wine room, a place for your Sims to age their nectar, sit and enjoy. And there is a fireplace and TV down here as well. Just a nice cozy, cozy space for your Sims to gather and have a couple of drinks. Heading upstairs to the second floor now and on the landing here, it's just a small hallway. And if you head this way and through this door here, you are entering into the primary suite. You enter into this little like, closet space with a mirror and then through this room this is the primary bedroom very gold super glamorous with the painting up above the bed and we have a vanity over here as well and an ensuite bathroom through this door I had so much fun decorating this particular unit because it's just a style I don't tackle very often so I really enjoyed this and all of the apartments this townhouse and apartments they were all posted on the channel so if you'd like to see the full speed builds I will have all of that linked down below uh please note that this townhouse House is in the speed build for the exterior. So I do the exterior of the home of the like whole build and the townhouse in one video. The rest of them are separate. But anyway, through here is our gym space that this unit has. Very simple. And then we are heading upstairs yet again 
to our third floor and this is where the camera is going to start not liking us so much. So I'm going to go into this view. Now th this room here is a spare bedroom that they have guests stay in. Uh, this is another one that has two beds in it and then over on the other side we have the butler's room. It looks like so and a small bathroom. And then finally on the top floor of this townhouse, we have the like party area. This is where they hold events and stuff. So we have a nice bar space. There's a buffet table, some seating, a chess table, a dance floor, a piano, like everything you could need is up here. And I just think this space looks like so much fun. So that is the townhouse over on the left of the lot. Uh, so next we're gonna move into the center building and look at those apartments. I suppose we'll start with the basement apartments because when you go in, there's a downstairs and there are a couple of basement apartments. So in our first building, this is the first one. It is a studio apartment for a musician that's just getting started. I assume that most basement apartments would be way more price efficient. So I had that in mind and I think this space came out so cool. I love all the personality with the posters and the photos around. It's a little bit messy and... It has sort of like a pull-out bed here coming out of the couch and they have all their musical instruments around. This is the kitchen, nice and cluttered. And then there is a small bathroom through here as well. And that guitar theme comes into the bathroom. So that is the first apartment. And our next one is on the floor up which is right after you enter that front door outside, you enter into this apartment right here, which is one of my favorites and one of the ones I most recently posted on the channel. This is an apartment for an artist and it has a very pink and orange color scheme. I think it is so incredibly beautiful and I love the fireplace here and like the big windows and I don't know, something about this apartment just made me really happy. It's nice and bright and colorful. This is one space I do have to play test is walking through this little hallway here, but this is a little kitchen space. We have a desk over in this hallway and then through this space straight ahead is going to be the bedroom, which looks like this. Stick in with that same color scheme. I made a custom headboard in here, which I thought was really pretty. And we also have a vanity in this space. And then lastly is the bathroom right through here. I just love the vibes of this apartment. It looks so happy and colorful and I, I was really proud of this one. On the next floor, that same apartment layout is an empty apartment. This one is the only one I left empty in the furnished version. So if you wanted to have all of those furnished, but have one to decorate for yourself, this one is here. It just has all of the built-in stuff. So we have an empty bedroom through here and a pretty bare bones bathroom and kitchen space, but it's a really nice layout. I really like how these are set up. So that one is ready to move in if you have your Sims move on in. The next floor of this building, we go through this door here and we are in our micro studio. This is the first apartment. The camera really doesn't like being on this level, but this is the first apartment I decorated in this townhouse series. And I love the vertical use of space here, the colors and the exposed brick. I just think this one's really fun. I was thinking this was for somebody who was just moving to the city trying to figure out what they want to do and coming to San Maishuno to basically just figure it all out and explore and that was the whole idea I had in mind is tiny New York City apartment. So that's what this one is. And I love this one. I would definitely recommend checking out the speed build to get a better look at it. But ugh, just this view right here made me so happy. This floor has a second studio, which is like a mirror opposite of the one I just showed off. And this one was a recent upload on the channel. It's really neutral. And I was kind of imagining originally this was for a student and they still live here. They do some sort of design. I'm thinking like some work on magazines, hence what's above the bed but they have a nice desk space underneath the loft bed, a nice seating area over here with a TV, and then the kitchen is pretty simple and as is the bathroom, just a couple of decorations. And then on the top floor of this building, we have a apartment that is for a yoga instructor. So I really went for like more calming vibes. Obviously we have a yoga mat here and just like lots of relaxing color schemes and ideas and so they have a really spacious kitchen through this space. I really liked how that came out and then a nice bookcase here. I had a lot of fun cluttering up this space and this is a two bedroom apartment. It's just one of them I decorated as a yoga studio uh, which is just like a yoga mat and a couple of decorations in here and then this is the bedroom in this space. Pretty small but I think this is pretty realistic for a New York City apartment and then they have a very small bathroom that has one of the university showers uh, so that we could fit everything into this space. Your Sims can walk on over that. So that is that apartment which leaves us with one last building. This one over 
on the right. So once again, we're gonna start in a basement apartment. And this one is also a recent post, which was for a gamer. And our sim is actually in here right now on the computer, but I, love this apartment. I'm really happy with all of these. This has been such a fun project, but uh, this is a studio apartment. I was really inspired by the sped from high school years, so I decided to go off of that color schemes of purples, blues, and oranges. We have some nice framed posters up above the bed and a nice gaming situation over here. We have a gaming PC, lots of like fun knickknacks on the bookcases. I really like the color of the fridge too. And then over in our like living room space, I have a colorful couch, lots of gaming posters. And I just think overall, this is a really cute one. And it's nice for a studio. It's one of the bigger studios on this lot. And then through here is the bathroom that brings in that gaming theme a little bit more with all the fun stickers and the void critter bath mat. So that is our second and last basement apartment. So moving to the main floor, when you first enter in this door and go into the door right inside, this is a really a narrow hall space with a staircase upstairs. But if you go through here, this is our eight sim apartment. Once again, another one I did a full video on, but I really wanted one of these apartments to be for a large family. So I was imagining there were eight sims here and this is the only two story apartment on this lot. So very colorful, fun living room. There's some toys and stuff around this cute bear chair. I love the curtains and the owl decor up there. Uh, through this hallway, we have some like kids artwork. And then this is going to be the bathroom space. If you head through the here, you're in a room that has two sinks and a toddler potty. And then through this door is where the shower and toilet is, as well as so many different towels for all of the Sims in this family. Heading back out to the hallway, they have their own washer and dryer in this unit. And this is the kitchen space with a nice dine-in table and like some book bags and stuff around the parenting table is or the parenting board is also in here not all eight sims can dine at the same time in this space but I find it's not that realistic to have your sims all dining together anyway so I wasn't too bothered by that heading back to the living room though and then over here and up the stairs in the entryway and we're on the top floor lots more colorful paintings here and we'll start this way in the primary bedroom which has a beautiful double bed lots of fun colors and there's a lot of baby stuff in here because I was imagining this room is shared by two parents and their infant so we have a crib over here I thought the colors in here were really fun. I was just trying to make everything feel very family friendly. So that was the idea behind that. This next room here is a bedroom for two kids that are sharing a space. So I have bunk beds and it's a pretty squished room, but I thought I did pretty good with decorating for two different personalities with the purples and the greens in here. I thought it was quite cute. Uh, moving on to our next room. This is for a older teen or young adult who lives here with their partner. I'm thinking they're probably in the process of moving out and want to find a space or maybe they moved back home temporarily, but I was thinking there was two sims staying in this space and it's a little bit more neutral because like I said, they're either on their way out or they're temporarily back at home. And then this last room here is for a kid who likes space and lots of blue uh, and void critters. So just a cute kid's bedroom over here as well. Going up one more floor, this apartment here is for an archeologist. And this was inspired by the new Crystal Creation stuff pack. I thought a lot of the items for that would work well for a Sim who's an archeologist, which is something that we got with the Jungle Adventure game pack. So I was very much inspired by that pack and combined a lot of items together in here to really explore that idea for an apartment, which is something I don't know if I've ever done. So this is our living room, lots of color and things that have been collected over their adventures. I thought that this piece of artwork from Harry normal worked perfect for that. I also loved this couch here from Growing Together and this is the archaeology table from Jungle Adventure and then if you head this way into the kitchen space we have some tools on the table from Crystal Creations and a and a fun colorful kitchen with some like pops of color and this really pretty lamp in the corner. Then through this door we have our we have our bedroom, which looks like this. I really love the artwork on the wall here from Jungle Adventure and just some of like the knickknacks around here. I got to use some items I don't use as often and that's always a bit of fun. And since this is a build for an archeologist, which is based on Jungle Adventure, I had to use the Jungle Adventure mirror right here. It's the best mirror in the game, so that's there. And then lastly through this door is the bathroom using some of the things from there as well, primarily the shower. And, uh, and with that, we have one apartment left, which is on the top floor and this one is for a city native which is a aspiration that came with city living basically you want to explore all the new things in town and i liked the idea of that it's probably a storyline a lot of people 
people would play as if they have their sims move to sand my shuno so i have all sorts of fun things in here i went with a bright red color scheme because it's not one i use very often and i thought the idea of having like a nice antique mirror here to make it look like the space is bigger we have books we have signs for protests which is something you can explore in the city a uh, nice little kitchen here this is using the new kitchen set that came with for rent expansion pack it looks like i forgot this piece right here that wasn't supposed to be there i'm gonna get rid of that and it's also a studio that's split off into a bedroom space up here we have some beautiful artwork of the city and just some other pieces that they've collected over time i love the idea of this being an apartment that you could use to explore the city living expansion pack and that really was the whole idea so here is the back bathroom once again very simple using a lot of the same things you see out in the living space and loving that red color scheme and with that, we have looked at all of the different apartments and townhouses in these New York City brownstones. I'm just going to quickly go through and make sure everything works and upload these to the gallery. This was such a fun project to work on over the last few weeks. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, of course, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, all of those things, and let me know what you would like to see next on the channel. I'd love to do another series like this at some point, and I would love your feedback on what to include. So with that, I'm going to leave you here, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.